The phrase climate change may be a familiar one, but how do scientists really know that Earth's climate is changing? We know what Earth's climate was like decades ago, but how do we know that Earth's climate now is different from the climate thousands of years ago? The answer lies buried deep in glacial ice. The history of Earth's atmosphere is written within hundreds of thousands of years of hard-packed snow, if only you know how to read it. Snow, when it falls, gets buried and the individual snow grains get, get sintered together by the weight of the snow on top. During the sintering process, air is trapped and now we can take uh, old ice, melt it or grind it up and get out fossil air for, from when the ice first, uh, about the time that the ice first fell. In places like Antarctica, snow has been accumulating for hundreds of thousands of years. At the top of the Antarctic ice sheet is the newest formed ice and therefore the most recently trapped atmosphere. At the bottom of the Antarctic ice sheet at a depth of over 3,000 meters is very old ice dated to 800,000 years in age. Ice cores drilled to the base of the Antarctic ice sheet can contain trapped air nearly 1 million years old. Scientists drill through an ice sheet to extract the ice in the form of an ice core. These ice cores are stored in freezers, typically at minus 30 degrees Celsius, to ensure that the ice structure remains intact. And in laboratories like Professor Michael Bender's on the Princeton University campus, scientists extract these tiny traces of fossilized air, just like they're opening a time capsule. Well, ice cores can tell us a bunch of things about climate. The most important is the temperature of the area where an ice core comes from. To determine the temperature, scientists look at the composition of the ice, which changes with the temperature it was when the snow formed. Scientists measure isotopes, which are forms of the same element with different masses. The abundance of isotopes in ice depends on temperature. We found that changes in Earth's climate and Antarctic climate are very closely linked to subtle changes in Earth's orbit around the Sun. And it's these orbital changes that are, have a major impact in Earth going back and forth between glacial and interglacial conditions. Earth's orbit around the Sun is not perfectly circular nor is Earth's spin perfect along its axis. Because of these variations in Earth's spin and orbit, the amount of energy the Earth receives from the Sun has varied over time. Temperature records obtained from ice cores tell us that Earth's temperature has varied from cool to warm periods on 100,000 year cycles. These are known as glacial and interglacial cycles. And, uh, then once we know how global temperature changed, the problem becomes trying to make estimates of how much temperature change that we observe was due to changes in the concentration of greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are gases in the atmosphere that have the ability to absorb and emit radiation and are responsible for the habitable climate on Earth we have today. Changes in the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere since the Industrial Revolution have been greater than any changes seen in the last 800,000 years of ice core data fueling concern over the impact humans have on the potential to change Earth's climate. We can see how modern Earth fits into the range of past climates and, and it gives us a context for understanding our current climate and what the consequences are going to be of changes in that climate due to man's activities. Ice cores give us information as to how climate has changed for the past 800,000 years. From this data, we know that on long time scales, Earth's climate has been moderated by its orbit around the sun. But that is not the only thing that controls Earth's climate. Greenhouse gases and temperature are intimately linked in the ice core record. Ice cores show us that not only is Earth's climate changing, but it's likely to change in a way that we have not seen on the time scales of human evolution.